Forbes' Elliot Broidy. He's among the long list of pardoned individuals by President Trump but people want to know more about him and his background. As a part of his final moves as President of the United States Donald Trump has pardoned 73 individual Sand commuted the sentences of 70 other Elliot Broidy as one of those individual Sand was expected to be sentenced in February. On the decision the White House said in a statement, President Trump granted a full pardon to Elliot Broidy Mr. Broidy was convicted on one count of conspiracy to serve as an unregistered agent of a foreign principal Mr. Broidy is well known for his numerous philanthropic efforts including on behalf of law enforcement the military and veterans programs and the Jewish community. WHO is Elliot Broidy? Elliot Broidy is an American venture capitalist who had strong ties with Trump's 2016 campaign acting as vice chairman of the Trump Victory Committee and then vice chairman of his presidential inauguration committee. Cersonis LLC is the private security company owned by Broidy which provides services to the U.S. government he also founded Broidy Capital Management in 1991. Previously he filled the role of Deputy Finance Chairman at the Republican National Committee but resigned from the role in 2018 amid news of a lawsuit from a Playboy playmate surrounding a disclosure agreement about a relationship. Elliot Broidy is married to Robin Rosenzweig and has three children however little is known about his family life the businessman was a member of the Republican Jewish Coalition and became a member of the Board of Directors. In 2009 he received a misdemeanor charge for his role in a New York pension fund bribery case. What charges was he pardoned for? So we now know who Elliot Broidy is but what exactly did he do? In October 2020 Broidy pleaded guilty to the charges that he illegally lobbied the government to drop an investigation into embezzlement in Malaysia. The Foreign Agents Registration Act require anyone lobbying the government on behalf of foreign entities to register themselves with the Justice Department Elliot Broidy pleaded guilty to a felony charge of conspiring to violate the act. Broidy reportedly admitted to accepting $9 million from a Malaysian financier. Me equals, 0.2 s. Greater than to push the Trump administration for the extradition of a Chinese dissident and to drop a case related to an embezzlement scheme.